Good evening and salutations, my Days of Our Lives fans. Huh. Nicole's an idiot. <laughs> Point blank period, she is an absolute moron. So after Kayla tells her that, you know, she's pregnant and stuff like that, and she's like, I don't know who the father is, um, EJ comes in. Now, EJ was meant to dinner with Gabby, which I'm going to be honest, Gabby is such a scumbag. I like Stepan, but it's very hard to sit there and watch those two together. They just come across as such slime balls. Now, there's one point where, you know, EJ gets upset. He grabs Gabby's hand, and, and you know, Stepan's like, yo, you need to sit there and get your damn hands off. And I'm like, as much as I don't really like those two, I agree with that. Um... You know, because Gabby was like, oh, well, I didn't stay with her. We're not best friends or whatever, and I still think that she's faking it. Okay, Gabby, whatever. So he finds out what he finds out Um, as far as her being in the hospital. He leaves. Tell me what this dumbass chick actually said. I hope it's serious. You hope it's serious. Wow. Damn, Gabby, you are, you are a low life. Jesus Christ. I mean, I know y'all don't like each other and y'all go back and forth and y'all have done tit for tat and everything like that, but damn. After that, they peek inside this, peek inside um, um, Nicole's laptop, find out that Nicole you know, wrote like a really bad review on step on Stefan. Say so changed the review. Gabby raised her review. We both sent it in. And um yeah. That that pretty much ends that. <laughs> both just two scumbags that are snipped there making out and practically about to sit there and do the devil's tank the devil's tango in the living room. Like no one walks through there at all. So I guess you just you just plan on scarring Johnny for life. Seeing God knows what. Um, so that's that's very generous of them. Then Marlena finds out that Eric got hit in the head. And, you know, I, here's the thing. I even said it before. That I was like, bro, you need to go to the hospital. You need to get that stashed up, stitched up. And Eric was all like, no, I don't want to go. And, you know, she's like, it could be a scar. I don't care. I'm like. Uh, uh, okay, all right. <laughs> Whatever, bro. Um, also, Marlena tells Eric that, listen, those biscuits don't do anything for your little Vito. So long story short, what happened between y'all two, I think y'all actually wanted that to happen. It does take him to the hospital. Eric runs into EJ, and EJ's like, well, you know, this is a one-time thing, and, you know, she means nothing to you. And, um, I mean, well, she was like, he said that she, he said that she, um, their one night stand meant nothing to, to, to her. So, you know, just pretty much talking down to him, like, Gabby's report. <laughs> but I just, you know, I sat there when, when, when Eric came, I mean, when, when EJ came in there and Kayla gave them some privacy, right? Kayla gave them some privacy. EJ confronted Nicole about the truth, about about those two sleeping together. And at first she was thinking she was trying to deny it. It's like, no, you know, Sloan, Sloan is a liar. And he doesn't know what he's saying. And, you know, she you know, she doesn't know what she's saying. And I'm like, well, just, just come clean. You know, when he found, he, he came in, he was like, what's going on? Is everything all right? He's like, no, it's fine. He was like, yeah, you might be lying to me, just like you were lying to me about the whole sleeping together with Eric. And she tried to deny that. I'm like, is it just like in your DNA to just, is it a reflex where you sit there and start lying about what you did when he already caught you dead to right? And at first, she was like, I was scared that she was going to be upset. And he was like, you know what? No, I took it on, on Eric's face. So I'm cool. He I mean, that's literally how he was. He was like, no, listen, you have to were high. I got my anger, my frustration. And after that, I was just more worried about you. He says to her, he looks her right in the face. He's like, 
Is this the only thing that you're lying to me about? Is this the only thing that you're lying to me? I'm like, bro, you know how EJ is. This is literally your one and only chance to sit there and tell him the truth and hope that he will stick with you. This dumbass decided to lie and was like, oh yeah, he's... <laughs> It's menopause. That's that's what Kayla Smith is saying. Yeah, yeah, I'm just not ready for that. <laughs> and uh, Kayla comes back, and you know, Kayla's like, "Yo, did you so uh, truth?" She's like, "No, I can't do it. I, I can't do it until I know for sure. You know, do a DNA test." I'm like, "Bro, you are okay. Whatever. You are." I was like, "Yo, bro, you are all kinds of stupid." I'm just gonna be completely honest about that. Um. What the hell wants it happening? So, so you probably was gonna sit there and probably wind up getting like some sort of you know DNA, it's like two pick, you know, toothbrush or whatever from one of those two, and you know, run a sample. So this way she could sit there and tell one of them the truth. But she probably won't want to doing that either. She probably just sit there and be like, "Yep, it's EJ's baby because I'm an idiot." You know, my whole thing is you would sit there and think after all those years of lying and scheming and doing. All sorts of terrible things that you would just be tired and you're like, you know what? Screw all that. All that stuff, all that stress that, that put me through, I can't do that. You know? On top of that, she had problems in the past, um, you know, handle on full pregnancy. So, what are you going to do, God forbid, that it doesn't work out with, with you and the baby? You're just gonna lie to one of them, and then when the other one finds out, you're probably gonna have to what leave town. Like, I know it's the soap opera, so obviously, messy is the name of the game. But you know, I'm very left brain, so it's like I see things like that, and I'm just um. So we find out who Kay's captive is, and it's some dude named Dimitri. Apparently, he. You know, was either related to Carly because apparently, you know, there was another Carly in the mix, which I'm still fine. You know, listen, at the end of the day, not so to take a Carly, I only take one Carly. Okay. If her name ain't Corentus, I know she calls just Spencer. Who, who cares? If it ain't it ain't if it ain't Carly Corentos, then I, it just it just kind of falls flat for me. And apparently they have history and stuff like that, so they kinda of go over their history and um Demetrius like, yeah, I want to, um, because she's like, you know, it's amazing because Kate is asking all these questions, and it's like, you're not in a position to sit there and really demand answers of any kind. Which I found it really funny when she was talking to Nick Fallon, all this stuff, when she was talking to Megan, she was like, I want answers. I was like, bro, you're not in a position of power. <laughs> I was like, do you not understand how the, how the position of power actually works? But, you know, that's Kate. So, at this point, I've come to just accept her and all that she does because that's just who she is. So, after that, Demetrius like, yeah, I want you at the hostage. And, um, you know, Kate's like, well, you know, you can talk to Roman. He'll get you the money. Child get you the money. Whatever it is, he'll get you the money. And then we can just sit there and then this whole thing. And Demetrius like, I'm not ready to give them my demands. And I'm not going to tell you what my plan is until um, until the producers actually say so. <laughs> you know, she's, he's just not going to just sit there and, and just, you know, um, give out his full plan. So, um, so, yeah. We have no idea what he wants. But, you know, I sit there and I look at it. She's all, like, angry and upset. And I'm like, I get that. You want to be with your loved ones and, and this, that, and the third. But I'm like, you know, you're going to be on that island for who knows how long. And, um, she, you know, she got on the boat. She got on the boat thinking that she was going to get that far. And, like, you could have died at sea at that point. I was like, I, I, have you not forgetting the fact that they actually rescued you? They're feeding you. Yes, it's cruel, I know. But they, they kept you alive. And instead of you actually showing a monocle of, of thank you or, or being somewhat grateful, you're just like, I want this. I want that. 
you know, and it, it's like you're, you're demanding answers. I was like, hey, I don't think you really grasp the situation fully. I don't think you really grasp that situation fully until they actually rescued you. And instead, you're sitting there cutting fish and you're being all pissy about it. And I'm like, I get it. It's gross. It's disgusting. But I'm like, you're also alive. You, would, you know, my whole thing is like, you would think that after being dead, she would actually have a little bit more appreciation for life. But, um, eh, not Kate. Um, now the scene with Chad and Roman, it was, it was kind of like whatever. Roman was upset that Harrison, Harrison, um, you know, is on board with, you know, is, is on board as far as, you know, helping Kate. And Chad is like, yo, listen, he's an Navy, he's a Navy SEAL. He has expertise as far as finding a boat. He also has friends in the Coast Guard. So you need to kind of sit down and let this whole thing go. Yeah, the other things wasn't really too much of anything except for more just padding. Um, yeah, that's, that's pretty much about it. I mean, it's nice to then see Chad's love for Kate because, again, when I first started watching the show, I was like, bro, you are... I was like, bro, you, you, to some extent, act like a privileged prick. Um, but, of course, I didn't know what the meaning of the word was until I saw Spencer Cassidy. And so that's a whole nother level on GH. Um, it's nice to sit there and see him actually act human. So, that's cool. Um, anyway, I feel like that's... Yeah, I feel like that's about it. All in all, a decent episode. It was. I enjoyed it. You know, even when things is not going super crazy, they still always manage to pull off a decent episode for a Monday. You know? They just really learn to take a thing or two. Just saying. Anyway, that being said, I'm going to go. Thank you for watching. Stay safe. And I will see you in the next video.